Hello everyone! Friends, do you like Spongebob? Oh, we just love him! And you know, it's always interesting to look at your favorite heroes from a different angle. And if the creator of the animated series is a marine biologist, then the characters must have something from the real inhabitants of the ocean, right? Well, except for the squirrel in the spacesuit. So, without further ado, let's take a look at Bikini Bottom Residents in Real Life. Mr. Krabs If you always thought that Mr. Krabs' huge eyes are an exaggerated invention of the animators, then you're wrong. There is actually a crab with a similar appearance, and it's called Ghost Crab. Although ghost crabs don't live on the bottom, but on the coast, and dig special holes for themselves, but who knows, maybe they just didn't have the opportunity to open their own restaurant. These crustaceans feed on everything, and in case of danger, they run off with quite a high speed more than two meters per second. Unfortunately, we couldn't find out if the ghost crabs like money, 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 money. but their eyes are so expressive. Plankton. Okay, let us put this straight. Real plankton cannot swim on its own. No, seriously, it simply moves to where it is carried by the sea. But you will agree, it is unlikely that this feature would make the show more interesting. Oh, look, the antagonist just swam by. See you in the current changes. However, some species of plankton really have the same long antenna, legs, thick eyebrows. Okay, okay, without eyebrows, of course. But the world of tiny marine creatures is huge and incredibly diverse. Some of them resemble shrimp, some jellyfish, spiders, or small fishes. And you will never convince us they don't want to know the recipe for a Krabby Patty. Larry the Lobster like the cartoon character, real lobsters can boast of huge claws and a strong shell, although scientists say that the females of these crustaceans are much larger than males. Perhaps Larry is working out just to catch up with his sister? Also, lobsters, living on the ocean floor, are not red at all. They become such only on the dining table, so maybe there's something we don't know about the beach lifeguard of Goo Lagoon. Miss Puff Probably everyone who has seen at least one episode with Miss Puff's participation knows that she can grow in size if she gets angry. She got this ability from real blowfish, unusual fishes living in tropical waters. They have sac-like outgrowths on their stomach, which, when the danger arises, are filled with water or air, because of which the fish becomes like a balloon with small spikes protruding in different directions. In this state, these fish become practically invulnerable to any predator, and also, they are poisonous and can cause serious harm to a person. But this hardly applies to Miss Puff because she's so cute. Frank Remember Frank? Of course you do! This is the goldfish with a very muscular body. Not that it's a particularly important character, but definitely memorable. Because, you know, it's pretty hard not to pay attention to the bodybuilder fish. Such things simply don't happen in re- Wait, but what kind of creature is this? This, dear friends, is a fish from the batfish family. And it didn't suffer any damage from radiation or some sort of mutagen. It's just a little unusual. We won't judge it for this. Batfish are very different from most of their neighbors, and not only because of a flat body, but also because of this strange, um, nose and bright red lips. But there's more. The fact is that these fish don't really swim, they kind of walk on their fins on the bottom. So it's not surprising that evolution has rewarded them with pretty strong muscles, turning them into true bodybuilders, just like Frank. But the batfish swim really bad, but is it really important when you got in a cool series? In contrast to the secondary characters of the cartoon, the SpongeBob himself looks somewhat different in real life. Most likely, you wouldn't even recognize him if you meet him in the ocean, because here it is, the sea sponge. Yes, even square trousers won't help. Patrick, of course, was more fortunate, although he runs quite differently from the way he does in the cartoon. Can you imagine how slow the series would be? Hey, SpongeBob, wait! And a couple of words about Gary. Gary, say meow. That's it for today, friends. See you soon.